What up guys and welcome back to the Danger Zone and we are here once again to review Archer Season 11 Episode 3 Helping Hands. Now as per usual with my episode reviews I'll be recapping the events of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet do yourself a favor watch the episode first then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory you have been warned. Okay. Uh, so, with that speedy introduction out of the way, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is something I did not talk about in my review from last week's premiere, is I love that the original opening is back. Obviously, like with every season, they get a different band to do like a cover or a different a version uh, for the uh, theme song, and uh, you know, obviously that's pretty cool, but I love that it has the same kind of classic vibe as the OG, like... Isis season Archer theme song. It's pretty cool. So, the basic premise for this episode is pretty simple. Uh, we actually find out that there has been a rival spy agency that's sprung up um, alongside Isis during Archer's, like, you know, three year coma period. Um, this agency is called Juno. Juno is, of course, for those of you who know your Greek and Roman mythology, the Roman equivalent to Hera, who is. Um, you know, the Roman goddess of fertility, uh, a goddess of beauty, such and such. Which is interesting because Isis is also a goddess of beauty, magic, and fertility in Egyptian mythology. So uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I like that, like, a lot of the names that are chosen within this show have a lot of, like, deeper meaning and hidden references in them. It's pretty dope. So anyway... Uh, we have Lana and Cyril um, attempting to steal this experimental exosuit from a recluse inventor named Hans. And uh, Hans is apparently somebody that, like, Krieger really looks up to. Like, he's super fanboys about, like, all of her work. And he is just stoked to see one of her inventions in action. So, like... Immediately, red flags start going off. Like, if somebody like Krieger, who is off of his fucking rocker, is, like, idolizing this person um, hands, then this person hands must be a dangerous-ass bitch. And, yeah. Judging by all the traps she has set, the, you know, the different pressure sensors and all that, uh, it was pretty fucking dangerous out here. Now, after the fuck-ups in the first two episodes with, you know, the whole thing with the Kumite, and of course with the Orpheus statue. Mallory felt it best to not let Sterling know about the whole, you know, exosuit snatch-and-grab mission. So she lies to Archer, and thinks, oh yeah, he's gonna fall for it. But, of course, just because Archer acts like a moron doesn't mean that he is a complete moron. He knew it was a ruse and actually managed to get ahead of everybody, uh, disable security and enemy bad guys, but because he had no intel, he didn't know about the heat sensors or any of the other defense protocols put in place by hand. Now they end up like trapped in this vault that is filled with like seemingly random trivial crap and Archer being Archer of course starts touching everything and like shit starts going haywire. The walls start closing in, there's like a countdown and everything. Shit is going nuts and eventually Archer sees a action figure of the six million dollar man and of course he's like, oh shit, that's so cool because, you know, Archer, he's a big fan of ADCV and memorabilia and stuff. So of course he grabs onto it. It activates a trap door and um, actually reveals Hans's true hideout, this little bunker that she has. And I said Hans instead of Hans. Uh, but Hans has like a whole bunker that she's like camped out in and she has a monitor watching the whole situation go down. And basically she explains that this exosuit was developed to help people with physical disabilities so that not only could they you know function normally but they could function better than people who are you know f 
fully uh, fully functional physically, or I guess the politically correct term is uh, you know normally abled, but that just sounds weird in general. So this episode in particular was really interesting to me because uh, you know in case you're brand new to the channel, hi, uh, my name's Jay. I have a condition that's called cerebral palsy. Now, cerebral palsy just means that like my nervous system kind of works on a delay and so when I move my legs, arms and such, uh, like when my brain tends to signal for, you know, parts of my body to operate, they work but with a slight lag to it, right? And so walking is more difficult and, you know, physical activity is much more difficult. So I have to use crutches and a wheelchair. So, you know, when Hans proposed this whole idea of the exosuit and like, you know, being able to help people and like improve people's lives like that, I was instantly like hooked. I was like, oh yeah, this could be so awesome. Like, not only could I be like a fucking superhero, but like I could literally, I could, you know, go out and run, play basketball with my brothers, you know, do a bunch of this cool shit that I've never gotten a chance to do. Like, that just completely fascinates me. And, like, of course, like, there's technology in development right now. Uh, but, wow, that is some amazing shit. And, of course, Hans is like, you know, you could just stay here, chill with me. I have all this cool shit, you know. Your friends, they kind of, they discount you. They treat you more fragilely because you're disabled. You came out of this coma. And they don't know how to appreciate you. You could just stay here. I understand your value. And we could get, uh, we could work together. You know, you could be my test subject and actually help me perfect the exosuit. And uh, by the end of it, of course, Hand is like, look, I'm not letting either of you, Juno or Isis, steal this exosuit. I want to use it to help people. I want to use it to help the lives of others. And if you leave it here with me, then I can work on perfecting it and eventually I will share it with those who need it. So it's up to you. And of course, Archer's like, nah, screw that. I'm out of here. But of course, Hands had a fail safe to make sure that, you know, Archer couldn't just walk out of here with the suit. And so, Archer reluctantly gives the suit back, but not before one of Juno's agents tries to blow up Archer, but Archer, using the exosuit and his enhanced reflexes, manages to duck, and uh, Hand uses some of her technology to kind of move stuff out of the way, and that rocket that was launched from the uh, Juno agent's RPG blew up Krieger's van and so he had the classic meltdown of just like no you blew it up you blew it up you bastards blew it up you can all go to hell and then of course Pam was like man sorry about Mitsuko dude that sucks he goes are you kidding I literally have thousands of copies of her files it's fine but do you know how much quality detail like work went into that van <laughs> and of course Pam she's just like oh dude that was an awesome van I'm so sorry I'm so sorry also something just really hilarious Pam and uh, Krieger tried to go into the field and do spy shit and they failed so hard oh my god that was that was classic I I'm actually glad we got to see Krieger up and about instead of just behind comms I thought that was really cool um I don't know, man. This season just feels so refreshing. Yes, it's very much a, like a back-to-basics type thing, but I feel like this is exactly what the show needed, and the animation is on point. The jokes, most of them land in succession. I really love this episode, uh, especially in particular because like it's a subject I can relate to being someone who is physically disabled but anyway let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comments down below as always don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it and if you like what i do here and you want to see more from me be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video i review archer every single week and i do other tv show episode reviews as well every week 
I also do reaction videos to different TV show trailers and things like that too. So if you're interested in any of that content, like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the outro card, I will leave linked my review of the Archer Season 11 premiere just in case you missed that. And I will also leave linked a video YouTube Mysterious Algorithm thinks you might like, which I hope you do. But until next time guys, this is Jay uh, for TV Time with Jay. And I'll catch you guys next time. But now you are free to exit the danger zone. Peace.